Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Y'all know uh, uh, if you've been watching the news, we in the middle. Well, we in the aftermath of it, but that's always the worst the aftermath. The hurricane barrel that came through uh, Houston area. And, of course, Katy wasn't hit as hard as other areas, but we was hit pretty hard. But the north side and the south side, got hit pretty hard. Now, I know a lot of people that doesn't have, even in this area, Katy area, doesn't have electricity. So you know me, I'm gonna step up the game. That's why I didn't, not even, people say, why you not in Arlington? Cause the hurricane, what? no, no, I'm be here and I'm going through this with my neighbors. We all going through this together. And I know I need to step up and help people in the time of need. So I'm got me a hurricane barrel uh, dish here, y'all. This hurricane barrel spaghetti, four ingredients. I'm not being fancy, nothing like that. When people in need and they're hungry, they don't care about nothing fancy. I'm going to show y'all my quick, easy, fancy spaghetti. I got some squash here that I've done already. Let me show y'all. A little squash and onions there. That's going to go with it. All I did, take some onions and some squash saute together. Put a little Uncle Steve sweet or spice here on there. That's going to go with it. Throw this spaghetti together. I'll get about 10 plates out of this, y'all. 10 plates. So anyway, I got my ground meat. Y'all know I get my meat processed. See that? Look at that. Now, Jeffrey Williams, Mr. Jeffrey Williams on that ground beef. I have my meat processed already. So, we're going to open this bad boy up. Get this thing open. I got my pot over here heating up here. I got my water boiling back there for the posse. Y'all know I like to get my sauce ready before my... Before my... Uh, Before my pasta is ready. So we're gonna get that heating up. And then I had to put a little oil in there because my meat is, is 90-10, y'all. It's a 90-10 ground. So I don't have to uh strain my ground meat. So if you have to do in the store that meat that ain't really ground meat, I'm gonna do a video on that. Uh why <laughs> that meat in the store is not really ground meat. This is 100 percent ground beef right here, y'all. 100 percent Ain't no byproducts in it. Ain't nothing unhealthy. It's all the different beef. So I'm going to get this ground up. I'm not putting no onion, no garlic. I'm going to put a little garlic powder in it and salt and pepper. That's it. Like I say, this is a very quick meal. When people want something hungry, like I say, they're not looking for nothing fancy. They just want to eat something. So a lot of people, like I say, don't have electricity. The hotel rooms are packed and people don't have money to be putting in the hotel rooms and stuff like that. So that's when I come through. So I'm going to let that brown off just a little and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, y'all, I'm going to season this up here. I'm going to put a little garlic salt in there. Like I said, I don't have no garlic, uh, chopped garlic. Put a little garlic salt. A little salt and pepper in this beef. Not much because these rails I'm about to put in here. Add seasoning too. So I'm gonna kind of season that up there a little. All right, see this rails right here? Now, with this rail, I love my rails marinara. You can use any marinara you got, but I always uh, have my rails. I'm gonna throw that rails in there, y'all. We got us some meat sauce, just that quick. Turn this down just a little. How easy is that? Now, also gonna put some corn in here at the end. See how easy is that? Spaghetti sauce, one on one, right there. I'm gonna let that simmer just a little. Let me taste, make sure I got no seasoning in it. Mm, mm, mm. And that rayo's just, mm. it just hits different, y'all. It hits different. All right, got that simmer now. I can get my uh, spaghetti back here in the pot. Like I say, I'm trying to get about 10 plates out of this. I got 10 people to, to bless the day with a hot meal. Yesterday I took my auntie, I surprised her. My auntie didn't have no lights, but they had lights by the time I got over there. But I blessed her with some uh, a hot meal. Chicken, I took some chicken over there. The barbecue chicken over to my aunt's. And uh, and some fried chicken wings. And y'all seen the video. I don't know if y'all seen the video already. You will later on uh, of the zucchini bread I made for her as well. So I'm going to let this simmer here. 
I got my, like I said, I got my, y'all didn't see that, my pasta heating up back there. So like I said, I like, y'all already know, I like to have my uh, spaghetti ready before, spaghetti sauce ready before my spaghetti is ready. All I got to do, I'm going to dump this in there, y'all. We ain't being fancy sauce on the side and all that. No, no, no. We're going to dump that pasta right in. Another thing I'm about to do, y'all don't even go away. To stretch this. I'm gonna put some corn in here, y'all. Y'all know I love my corn. People gonna love this. Like I said, y'all, this is my hurricane barrel. You know, you never heard nobody named barrel. B e y r a. How y'all see you how they spell? Hey, do y'all know anybody named barrel? Whenever they say barrel, I'm thinking like a barrel or something. That's a very unique, very unique name. I never heard of that before. Okay, let me drain this water off this uh, corn. I'm going to throw some corn in there too, y'all. Hey, we're going to stretch this bad boy out. Put that corn in there. Let it cook a little. It's going to be a good old hurricane spaghetti right here, y'all. And I definitely can feed 10 people with this, no problem. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Of course, you know the sauce here. I got that corn in there. Y'all don't hate. People go, oh, why you put corn in spaghetti? Believe me, I'm telling you. People are hungry. That's just a filler, y'all. Okay, I got my spaghetti back here. It is ready, y'all. We're going to take this spaghetti off of here and drain it. We're going to drain this bad boy here. Grab my towels. All righty. Drain this out of there. I'm going to pour the pasta right into the pot, y'all. We're gonna put it right into the right into the spaghetti here. In a second here, y'all. Let me get this all drained up. I'm gonna pour it right in here. How easy is that? Mm. How easy is that? Get all the noodles out of there. Come in, come in. Come here, y'all. Okay. Mix that up in there, y'all, just like this. I'm going to kind of let that flavor kind of marry together there. See that? A big old pot of, what do you say? A big old pot of goodness. I like to let it set up 15, 20 minutes, kind of let all that sauce kind of marry in there together. It's going to be a good old plate of good stuff here, y'all. There we go. That's a filler, ain't it? There we go, y'all. So anyway, I'm gonna let that set up here and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, guess I'll do a little plate here for the old school YouTube thumbnail and we'll come back. It'll be time to eat, y'all. I gotta do a sample. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back in. Look at this good plate here, y'all. This is a good plate here. I'm going to make 10. Of course, I'm not going to make them quite as big. I got bread to put on there as well. But that's a balanced plate. You got your protein, you got your vegetables, and you got your starch. All in there, and then I'll give them a slice of bread. And that's good to go. Good hot meal. And it's a definite filler. So anyway, let me taste my squash here. I love my sauteed squash with onions, a little salt and pepper, a little Uncle Steve shake. Look at that, y'all. I love squash. Oh my God, that's so good, so good. Oh, that's the squash I got from the farmer's market. Look at this, y'all, look at that. Got a little corn in there, go in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Who wouldn't like that for supper? Mm? Who wouldn't like this for supper? A little piece of squash. That's a good bite thing. Take a bite. Go in there. Mm -hmm. mm. So, like I say, just a quick meal. It took me less than an hour to put this together. It would have took less than that if I wasn't recording, had to stop, you know. Other than that, 
I got 10 plates here to uh, feed a few people. I know need and don't have light, especially the elderly and the kids. That's who I definitely reach out for and take care of. So this my, I'm gonna call this my Hurricane Barrel meal. That's what I'm gonna name this. My quick Hurricane Barrel meal to help my neighbors. Hold on, y'all. Oh, just a second. I had to get me a drink of, drink of water. Okay, let me close the video out. This fly trying to get in here, y'all. Let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Ventures, TikTok. And oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing. Start doing. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all pray for Houston because we're going through it right now. And we will get out of this just like we do everything else. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.